back to the local vibe. Thanks for staying with us as we head into the last month of 2023. It's upon us. The triad has plenty of events happening to take part to learn about a few of them. We wanted to hear from the Arts Council of Winston Salem and Forsyth County. So joining us now is Katie Hall, the Chief Marketing Officer for the Arts Council. Katie, good morning as always. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's a packed month of lots yes. of great events in the community. I'm sure it is. So let's start with the Camel City Jazz Orchestra. What's going on with them? Yes, so Camel City Jazz is presenting Holiday Swing at Sika. This is taking place on December 21st with two performances at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. Uh, crowd favorites from their holiday concert tradition uh, featuring Nisha DeMeo on vocals. So two opportunities to see a great concert. Tickets are available for $30 for adults and $15 for students and children. All right, now tell us about the Little Theater of Winston-Salem's holiday show. Yes, so Little Theater, you know, brought back a Christmas carol a couple years back. They have adapted uh, the stage play from Charlie Lovett, uh, from the novel, of course, from Charles Dickens. And everyone knows the story of Scrooge and how much he hates Christmas and ends up being visited by the spirits of Christmas past, present, and future and you know discovers that he can find kindness in his heart um, so everyone should come out and see this great production by little theater this is taking place december 7th through the 17th at arts council's campus in uh, reynolds place theater and tickets range from 14 to 28 dollars with discounts for students as well something about a classic show is that it never gets old so it's always nice to see that put on in our local community as well another production the nc black repertories annual holiday uh, show can you tell us more about that and what it entails yes yeah, so nativity according to the gospels is back at haynes brands theater this opened last weekend and will be running through december 17th this is an electrifying rendition of the christmas story told with an infusion of gospel music dance and spoken word and as it is a performance to not miss so uh, performances will be going on uh, both matinee and evening as i said through the 17th and tickets are 35 dollars and those can be purchased online at ncblackrep.org. All right, Katie, and in case people missed the beginning of our show this morning, we actually heard from the CEO of the Piedmont Wind Symphony. He was telling us about the free concert tonight. Would you like to add anything else? Yes, so Catherine and I have been working to help promote this. I'm glad that she was on the show earlier. Home for the Holidays will be presented tonight at Centenary United Methodist Church in downtown Winston-Salem at 7.30. And the Piedmont Pops Home for the Holidays concert um, will be an evening of heartwarming classics and will just be a great way to get your spirit up and ready for the holidays uh, with lots of different melodies to lift up your spirit. So this has been made free thanks to a sponsor, AM Erectors. And so we hope the community will just show up and enjoy a wonderful evening of music. Yeah, once again, that one is tonight. So many great things happening all throughout the month. Katie, thank you as always for your time this morning. A great roundup too for families. Everyone at home, you can find more information about each of these events sponsored by the Art Council's website. It's on your screen now, intothearts.org.